Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Toasty. Welcome to the channel. If you guys enjoy this video, hit that like button, subscribe, and comment down below what else do you guys want to see. Shout out to Gamer Football Michael. Sorry if I messed your name up for giving me this idea for the video. Let's get into it. Tip number one is going to be be patient. And what that means is basically when you're on the field, you want to rush everything. You don't want to do that. What you want to do is you want to be patient, let your routes develop, and go from there. As you can see, we're waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting. Triangle. It, it wasn't open, okay? It wasn't open. Whatever. It doesn't matter. I, it's just an example. The uh, Tip number two is good pocket presence. If you don't have good pocket presence, actually, I'm going to go and change the defense real quick. Yeah. Let me just go change the defense real fast. Alright, so as I was saying, tip number two is good pocket presence. Basically, when you hike the ball, you don't want to come all the way back here because then you're going to lose yards. And as you can see, your buttons, the buttons that you should be pressing for your receivers disappear. So let's do this again. So basically, if you get pressure, you want to move up in the pocket. So that way, that was a really bad throw. So that way, if you take a sack, you might lose a yard or two. That's it. Uh, and basically, if you take a sack, you lose a yard. If you step up in the pocket too far, you're going to get the flag for... Why are we running? You're going to get the flag for uh, throwing over the line of scrimmage. And then, if you do it just perfect, if Aikman would stop running the ball, that would be amazing. That's not what this play is, Aikman. If you do this perfect, sorry guys, I'm trying to like, if you do this perfect, you know, obviously you'll, you won't lose yards. You'll actually gain yards and you might gain a yard or two. And tip number three is basically just, you need a, you need good route combos. So, uh, let's see, let's go over to gun bunch. <clears throat> so for example, gun bunch verticals. What I normally do, and anybody can copy me, this is not the scheme that I run in MCS, it's just what I do, and I win a lot of games from it. I will put Kelsey on a zig route, and I will move over Christian, or CMC, and this is how I read the offense. Normally I do Randy, well, I'll do... Normally it's Kelsey first. If Kelsey's not open, then I'll look at CMC. If CMC is not open, then I'll make a quick adjustment with my eyes down the middle of the field. And I will hit uh, Randy Moss on the, the crossing route. Now, if none of those are open, well, you're, you're unfortunately out of luck. So right here, I'll make the reads. Kelsey not open. McCaffrey was open. As you could tell, McCaffrey was open down the field. Night Train Lane was busy with the most out of receiver and I guess not I don't really have three tips but I actually have one more so another thing you want to do which would be tip number four is you always want to set your audibles so let's go into change play choose new play and what I mean by change audibles is you want to hit L2 on PS the PS5 controller or PS4 and you just want to set all your audibles so for example build Y post um, Let's see, deep in, RPO zone alert bubble, and then you can come all the way down here and put wide receiver short post. And then for bunch, you know, whatever you, whatever plays you like to run for bunch, so Bill's vertical, mesh spot, um, let's see. I normally like to run bunch trail and deep corner, and then, you know, so on and so forth. So that way when you come out into gun, Gun tight at, gun trips tight end. Holy shit! You already have all your audible set up. The Bills wide post, the deep end, the RPO zone alert bubble, and the wide receiver short post. And then you can go over to gun bunch. You have your Bills verts, mesh bot bunch trail and deep corner. So that way you can call it. So what this is gonna do is this is gonna mix up the defense. And if your opponent is running a specific scheme to really stop you on defense, quote unquote. This will really mess it up. Either they'll call a timeout or, you know, that's that Aaron Donald, by the way. He's super good. Uh, it'll either, either mess him up or it will, you know, he'll have to call a timeout to readjust his whole defensive scheme. All right, well, let's move over to, over, over to defense. Future editor Toasty here. By the way, this is a perfect step up in the pocket to 
deliver a absolute dot to Randy Moss. That is what I mean by step it up in the pocket. Now let's move over to defense. On defense, I don't really have tips for you on defense, but I can show you the plays that I run. Nine out of ten times, all my points have come from defensive stands. So I, perf I prefer auto flip defensive play call off. My auto alignment is always base. If they have a running quarterback for QB options, I normally put it on conservative, but because I have Troy Aikman, I'm going to keep it on balance. My flats are 25, my curl flats are 0, and my hooks are 5. My zone coverage is match. What I like to come out in is DB fire 2 or cover 4 drop contain. So let's go into DB fire 2. I'll show you my setup. Okay. So you're going to double tap triangle. You're going to go onto your triangle cornerback and you're going to hit right on the left d-pad or left stick and then you're going to do the same thing to the other side so you have a double mabel what i like to do also is man up my middle linebacker with the running back i like to put my user right behind the ass end of the center and i will double tap r1 so what that does is that qb contains i will show you here uh boom 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 come up qb contain you see how now both the outside defensive tackles are their lines are like kind of like sideways and then in what that's going to do is kind of going to create like a circle half circle around them as you can tell let's go into replay mode real quick <coughs> come on all right let's go into replay mode so what that's doing is um i have never used replay mode guys so give me a second okay so your defensive tackle all three defensive tackles you have one in the middle uh you have one in the middle two on the end and what that does is it creates pressure on the outside at, at least for me it does so that means that the qb is actually going to have to get the ball out faster now the other play that i like to run if he's really dotting me up like if i'm playing against someone who's really good and he's really dotting me up is uh what is it called 4-3 even 6-1 now this is probably one of my favorite plays which is cover four quarters so let's go into a single single back mesh wire whatever so what i do is i hit i'm not gonna hit anything yet because i just have to wait for troy aikman to not hike the ball super fast i don't know why he's doing that that's never happened okay so on the left d are you shitting me can we not please there you go <clears throat> I would explain everything if, if Troy Aikman would stop hiking the ball so fucking fast. Okay. Uh, I don't even... Can we just do defense? No. Okay. Alright. Let's go back into it. Sorry, guys. So I'm going to hit down <clears throat> left on the D-pad, and I'm going to hit down on the left pad to pinch my line. And then what I normally do when we go back into it in a minute... So I'll hit right, left, down, right, up. That will, you know, spread out my linebackers. I come down, same thing, come down, put myself right in the middle, QB contain. And then what I normally do is I just normally follow whoever, you know. Unfortunately, these guys are dropping back pretty far. So if that's the case and these guys are dropping back, going to choose new play. <clears throat> oh my god, I feel like shit. And we'll go into our... Uh, coaching adjustments and we will pull the flats back 15 keep the curl flats at zero and your hooks keep at five really and just keep match so basically you just want to go in there and play with everything try to see what you know what works with you and like i said on offense i'll do a little recap offense be patient have good pocket presence um mix up your plays a ton and then on defense Basically, make sure you're comfortable with what you're running. Because if you're not comfortable with what you're running, then there's no point in running that specific defense or that specific scheme that you're trying to run. Um, I mean, there's a lot more to go over, but right now, I just don't feel good at all. So I'm just going over the basic stuff that's, that, that's been helping me. There's other people out there, too, that you guys can watch. It's just not only me. You know? But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry it's it, it's confusing. 
but it's also rushed just because once again i don't feel good but i hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did hit that like button and let me know what else you guys want to know down below have a good one